Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and in this video, we're gonna talk about how I taught myself to code and how you too can use the same exact method to teach yourself and become a professional software developer. So let's jump right into it. So, I'm going to first of all start it off by saying what is computer programming? It's the ability to take any idea that you have and to digitize it and bring it on to, into the world. Whether it's you want to make practical applications, so then you can use that to make extra money, get clients, get a job, work as an independent contractor, or maybe you just want to make cool games, right? Either case, programming is for you. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to talk about today is why you should learn to code. Now, there are a million and one reasons, but I'm going to give you some of the best ones. Flexibility of work. You can work from anywhere you want, okay? So you can spend time with your family, have a good time out, doing whatever the hell you want to do, and still be able to generate a lot of income because you can have multiple clients you're working for. So. Working remotely is a great benefit that you can have and that's something that I take advantage of all the time. For example, I'll travel to California to visit my family. I will travel to other states to take Niles North High School chess team for chess championships because I'm coaching them. And I don't have to worry about, oh man, like I have to be at a nine to five job. So I think that that's great. Second of all, job security. Software development is the number one growing industry in the world. So there's no job scarcity happening here. It's only growing, right? So there's a huge market here. And whether you have a degree or not, it doesn't really matter as long as you can prove to them you can actually code or build some applications for them, okay? So with that said, let's move on into the third section. So now I'm going to go through how I taught myself to code. All right, because you can use this same exact way to actually teach yourself and get started on this. Okay, so if you've been pondering and waiting, I have told you why you shouldn't wait already. But now I'm going to tell you how you can actually get started. So there are a million resources. But the one that I started off with was Udacity, okay? I took a course from Udacity called Intro to Computer Science, okay? And there we built a search engine in like, you know, two months basically. So while you're building that search engine, you are constantly doing all these different exercises as well. So you have this one big massive project but in between, you have these little exercises, quizzes to just keep you on track, keep your skills sharp so you can actually then complete that final project. So that was a really fun way that I got into the world of computer programming. I remember to this day, actually, my brother gave me a call and I was at this time deciding what college am I going to go to? What should I do? Uh, and before I even started the computer science course, um, on udacity.com my brother gave me a call and he's talking to me and he's like hey so are you thinking about any jobs and I said um, not really you know maybe computer networking or something like that and he said hey there's a big opportunity in big data analytics and college graduates can be making like over two hundred thousand dollars you know if you learn how Hadoop works so like big data analytics and stuff like that and I was like Wow. So I thought that was incredibly awesome. And then I started looking into it. And so then they're like, you have to learn Hadoop uh, frameworks. You have to like learn all these statistics and all that. And so I wanted to jump into that. But then I found out that you actually need something more fundamental to get into that, which is computer programming. So I had to rewind. I then I started learning computer programming. And then after that, I never looked back. So now let me give you my second resource that I actually used to learn a lot. Okay. So this resource is called Coursera. You can go to Coursera.com to take courses from them. I took the intro to interactive programming in Python course. And basically in that course, you're building um, like games. So 
you're building applications uh, and most of them are just games. So something like Pong, for example. The only thing I don't like so much about that course is that you're not building these in actual Python. You're using like a nice little fun thing that they made on their online platform that you're using. But other than that, I still like the Coursera course and helped me learn a lot. So intro to interactive programming uh, in Python, that's their part one you can take. Then they have intro to interactive programming in Python part two, which is another one you can take where you're building more applications. And then they have another series called principles of computing. So I took that and then I took principles of computing part two. And that was like more about theory, um, graph analysis, and just understanding how statistics and probability works and how all that kind of gets tied into the world of coding. And we even made a game like Yahtzee, I think. Um, so it was basically you're doing graphical user interface development. So you're building actual applications, but then you're using the logic, um, you know, using some more advanced stuff that we learned from principles of computing. After this course, I jumped into, I think, um, I, I went to my college class where they were teaching us Java and this class, the instructor was just incredibly terrible and most of the class was just confused. I paid $1,500 for this course and what ended up happening was I got an A but ended up learning absolutely nothing. And I had some friends from this class too who I still know to this day who learned nothing but got even C's or B's or some of them actually got A's. So uh, contrasting this online education on why you should pursue the online education route is the cost of a college degree are just incredibly high. And what's weird is that some of these teachers aren't even actually qualified to teach this because they aren't working in the industry or creating things in the real world. Some of them are actually just teachers who are teaching others, right? While that's good, but wouldn't you want to learn from somebody who's actually doing this on a day-to-day -day basis? The reason why I say this is because technology changes and the world of software development changes literally every day. So if they have a curriculum that's designed to last for two, three years, it's very hard for them to change it. And usually it just stays the way that it is for many years to come. So you're really sacrificing a lot of flexibility and agility there in your growth. So I would say go to college and I would say pursue those courses, but make sure that your professors are really good. And also think of college as just one learning resource, right? Most people, when they think of a college, they just think that I have to depend on it and I can't get my education from anywhere else, right? So use other online platforms and then mix it in and complement what you're learning in your college. Okay, so with that said, let's move on to another uh, few things that I did, and then I'm gonna start to wrap this video up and give you guys something valuable at the end as well. So if you stay till the end, there's gonna be something for you. Basically, after I took, I went the Coursera route, I looked into uh, Codecademy, so I was doing a little bit of Codecademy, I went through uh, Udemy, so I took about 10, five, five to 10 different courses there. Team Treehouse is another great resource. So, you know, I'm making this really nice and linearly structured for you guys, but in reality, I was probably on like all 10 of them at the same time. And I feel like you might be in that situation as well. And it can be frustrating it can be a little bit overwhelming as well. And sometimes with all of that going on, sometimes you just want to kind of quit. Or you're like, I'll just come back to it later and then you don't end up coming back to it. So this is the path that I'm offering you that you can actually just take exactly what I did and learn all those skills. And then what I ended up doing with those skills was I was getting work as an independent contractor. So I was working and building software for clients. And I was also working, you know, like giving personal coaching lessons. 
you can use that exact method to be generating pretty good income. Um, I mean, as a college student, I think just last year, between the month of May and June, I made over $20,000. Like, that's not bad as a 21-year-old who's a full-time student. And all this while I was actually on a vacation. I went to California to visit my family, and the, my brother just had his son. So I went to see him, and that was like super cool. The little baby's adorable. Uh, but the work that I do and software development will give you also that kind of flexibility. So you can go where the, wherever you want, right? Whether it's for vacations or whether you're going out with your friends and just hanging out, you'll be kind of, you'll be able to do all those things. So what I've decided to do is take everything that I've done so far, right? Like all these 20, 30, 40 different places that I went to study programming from all these different courses I've taken all these soft skills and negotiation skills that I've learned to be able to work with clients so they're practically forced to like look at my resume and then hire me all these different ways of generating extra income what I decided to do is take all of this and build a course that we offer at clever programmer now so this course right now is called Learn Python OOP, Create Apps. So it teaches you about object-oriented programming while you're creating apps that you can actually put on your portfolio and go and get hired. So you're not just learning. This is giving you a real potential to actually be making money too. Because let's be real, at the end of the day, yes, you're doing this for fun or whatever, but at the end of the day, you're doing this to get paid, right? You're doing this so you can pursue something that's fun, but also so you can live a comfortable lifestyle. So that's really what I decided to do in this course. And then I also teach you this, you know, like the, from the aspect of negotiation skills. Also, what else is in this course is live sessions. So you and I might actually be in a live session along with other students, and there's a private community built in so you can actually work alongside other students just like yourself. So by the time you're watching this video, maybe this course is closed down because what I wanna do is I wanna close this course down so then we can run this class and I want my focus to be 100% on you right? I don't want to deviate my attention anywhere. I want to make sure that we're all focused, committed, and in this together. So by the time you're watching this, the course may be closed down. But um, if you're watching this, when this video is made, you have three days to enroll. Um, and then I'll probably relaunch it. I don't know when is the next time I will do that. But you can click the link below and you can uh, click on the waiting list and join that. So then when it is available, you'll be the first one to know. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I love your faces off. That's it for this video. This is Kazi. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Right. I love having everybody here. Also, make sure to like the video so everybody else can see it. And you can help them out just by clicking that button. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.